How we all doing? I hope everyone is keeping well out there. So, still not getting as much time as I want out in the workshop here, but um, uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. It's just, it seems like a bloody struggle all the time uh, to make a bit of time for this. But however, we'll get there in the end and with the dark evenings coming in now soon, we should be good to go. Right, quick look at this cheap Chinese monitor. Um, black and white 12 inch CCTV monitor um, the tube in this is as flat as a pancake and we're going to try and give it a blast with our uh, little coning machine so what I'll do is I'll turn this on for you and you can see how bad the tube is um, nice little monitor I was given this I had been in a, a home CCTV set up and had been left on for years and years but um uh, we just got to the point where it was barely visible so i have a i have the safe block here connected to it because they cut the lead off it but not to worry um it's not worth going to the effort of redoing it so the video video in here coming from our lovely pm5415 pattern generator and I'll, I'll feed a test card, test card F in through that. Without further ado, swing this thing around and turn it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I had the EHT connector off of there, yeah. So we'll set this up now. I'll, uh, power on. I'll turn off all the lights here. Now it looks a lot brighter on the um, camera than it is in real life. Um, like we're flat out here. And um, it's not great. Actually, it looks great on the camera. So you might not believe me how crap it actually is. But um, however, we'll, uh, put the test card on here. Do, 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 do. Where am I going? Over here. Now. As you can see, it doesn't show up on the bloody camera either. Maybe if we bring the camera in a bit closer. This is the worst thing about CRTs and cameras. It's very hard. You can see where the whites invert. Um, and it goes out of focus. This is the bay I'm struggling. Because there's not enough cathode material left. Um, or it's poisoned from being on all the time. So while it looks alright on the camera. Um, it's not. It's sort of alright about there. But like in average viewing conditions. It, it's You couldn't see it. So. Although it looks great on the camera. It's not. So we. will Put the CRT tester on it. I had this on for a few hours yesterday. And. It does get a little bit brighter but it's not great so we'll see if our machine will do the business with it so we'll knock it off and turn the light back on in here and I have our ready to go here I actually I had to make a little adapter up for it um, for the smaller seven pin tubes so we plug it in and we see what we get. You must see in a spot on the screen there where the EHT was still charged. 
and this was power on it, but uh, it doesn't take long for it to bleed out. As we can see, there's not a whole lot happening there. So, and we know from watching it, now I, I wouldn't use this to condemn a tube, because we've seen tubes that read really lower, that give brighter pictures. But we know that um, we're getting the, the silvery CRT, the balloons, that inverts when the brightness is turned up. So we know the tube is um, well past its best. So we're going to hit the rejuvenate button. So push this in and we hit this button here. And you can see the needle bouncing around there doing its thing. What it does is it keeps pulsing and it turns the heaters on and off. So you hear the relay clicking, the re heaters come back in there now. And you should see the needle going up again. Right, I think that's enough. supposed to be fully automatic but I don't know so we can see the tubes reading a bit stronger now than it was so we'll turn them off and we'll put the little CRT base back on and we'll switch on again and we'll see how it performs this time. Oh, now that now we're talking. That's way better. That is a hundred times better than it was. Again, it's not that easy to see on the on the camera, but that is a hundred times better. We got a good contrasty picture now. Now, how long would it last? Well, that's hard to tell. But how long is a piece of string? But if it's a last ditch effort. The CRT is fecked anyway. Could last for a year or two. Could last a couple of weeks. Um, with the use it's going to get here. It won't matter. But um, it's a hundred times better than it was. So it was well worth uh, trying. So there you are. Quick CRT rejuvenation there. And. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I have to say I enjoyed it. On, uh, that. Especially when you bring back a tube there. That's. More or less had it, you know. So, I think we're looking good. Okay, I'll leave it at that one for now. This is a quick video on a CRT Rejuvenate. I don't think I did one before. So, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in the next one soon. Good luck for now.